Hey y'all, it's Kathy Jo here. How you doing? Anyway, um, today I have four DIYs for you. They're farmhouse or maybe little tiny bit shabby chic. But anyway, I'm so excited. I'm doing a collaboration with Maria at Crafting with Maria. I'd appreciate if you all go over and show her some love. Um, give her a big thumbs up. Subscribe because you won't be disappointed. She is so sweet and she's funny. She kind of acts shy, but behind the scenes, she is not shy. Anyway, um, she's such a sweet friend and I appreciate her. And um, if you like my video, please subscribe. Give me a big thumbs up. Y'all, I'm only 777 hours away <laughs> from... My monetization, that's a lot of hours, but anyway, and I appreciate you all, and I love you all, and I know you all support me, and it means the world to me. I love you all from by my heart. Anyway, if you like my video, please give me a big thumbs up. That's like giving Abby a high five. Yeah! Or shaking. Yes. You want to give me a kiss? Oh, I love my baby, baby. Oh, this is Abby, y'all. Some of y'all wanted to see her. And here she is. She is stuck by my side 24-7. If y'all's visiting from Maria's channel, hey y'all, what's up? Ooh, why'd you do that? That's gross. Uh, it's a kiss. She don't usually lick me. Anyway, this is a weird intro. Mine always are. So, anyway. Hi, I hope that y'all enjoy the video. Enjoy the video. And, um, I got one thing left to say. Let's get on with the video. Right, Abby? Say bye. Okay, y'all. Right here, I got me 11 by 14 canvas from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to take some Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint. And I'm going to give it one coat. Just one. That's all you really need. And I got those half beads from Amazon. And you got like 300 a pack for nothing. And I'm going to put them all around it. And I go 15 down the side. I'm just going to put them on with hot glue. And 17 long ways. <sighs> Sorry. I know I sound like a frog. My allergy season. So I take that salmon coral chalk paint by Folk Art. And um, that Waverly banana, banana ballet slipper. <laughs> pink. And I mix it together to get a darker pink. I'm finding this paint y'all forgot I had, and some of it I didn't even know I had. So, <clears throat> I'm going to take a chippy brush. And I'm, the reason I'm doing that is I want to get down in between those beads when I paint it. And I'm telling y'all, I didn't know what I was doing at this point. I was like brain dead. I hadn't slept in 48 hours, so I'm just making this up as I go. <laughs> I'm like, dur -dur -dur, what am I going to do? Anyway, so... Well, apparently I'm going to show you me painting this one. So I take some Waverly Wax, and I dip my chip brush in it, and I mix it with the other paint, and I go over the beads with that. And then I printed out a stencil on my Cricut, and oh my gosh, this thing was crazy. It's some of the letters you took out, some of them you didn't. It took me three days to figure out how to do the stencil. And I'm just going to take a little makeup sponge and um, dab on there that agave chalk paint by Waverly. Good gravy. And I always take my stencils off when it's wet. And here in a minute, you'll see me drop a piece of stencil right on my little board. All right. So I'm going to dry it off. And isn't that or pretty? I had to find those separately. I had to find the word bless. I had to find the word or. I had to find the word nest. Anyway, yeah, watch hearing me drop a piece. Blam, right there. Anyway. Oh, well. And look at the nest. Isn't it cute? But I accidentally ripped it. And I'm like, dude, I'm going to mess this up. But I didn't. It came out great. Looks all nice and old and faded and crisp lines. And that's what I like to see. <clears throat> Anyway, so then I took the gobby around, around those beads, <laughs> and then I slapped some of it on my board. So I love these little um, rub on stickers, because they're getting so many of them at the Dollar Tree. And I took some roses and some little birds, I put a little bird on my nest, and some little Spanish moss around the hole, the bird hole. <laughs> anyway, this is a farmhouse, but it could be kind of shabby chic, I guess, I don't know. And I took me some pit berries, and I cut 
two pieces equal and I wrapped them around one another and I'm going to put on hot glue and some white electric tape not electric tape duct tape and that hanger ain't going nowhere nope there it is y'all isn't that cute look at my little birds aww Okay, y'all, right, today is a collaboration with Crafting with Maria. She is so very talented. She does farmhouse, some boho, a lot of Dollar Tree DIYs. I have seen her make things out of foam board that would surprise you. She is absolutely amazing. She's funny. She's sweet. And I just, I love her to death. She's such a great person. Y'all go check her out and, um... Give her a big thumbs up and subscribe to her channel. Help her out. All of us need some help. Y'all know that. Especially me. Okay. Right here I got a little bird from the Dollar General. And that, um, it's called Concrete Something Cement <laughs> Chalk Paint. I got it from... Michael's and I forgot I even have even had it. It's supposed to be like concrete and it does it looks like concrete like concrete texture cement something like that Anyway, I have rust and moss and everything didn't you know it was there and I just took some Waverly clear wax and went over my little bird because It's plastic. So I got some Waverly Chalk paint in ink and one of those candle pillars I'm just gonna paint that up to make it match everything. I spray painted that little thing. I think I messed up and didn't show it. But anyway, I got that little knob from heaven only knows where. I found it here. And I'm gonna take some Gorilla Glue and some hot glue. And then I'll take hot glue and put it down in the hole. And then I take a screw and I screw it in. I don't think that, that little dude ain't going to know where for the rest of its life. That knob is stuck there forever. So, I thought my bird was too dark, so I threw some white on it. And I got that thing from a... I don't know where I got it. I I think it's one of them picnic um, plate things. You know, you stick your paper plate in it and pack it around. Anyway, threw some Spanish moss in it. Some of that other stuff that's orange looking that dust goes everywhere that I hate. And some... Those things called blooming. I don't know. They got sticks on it. Little things. Looks like a bird nest. And some boxwood. And I'm going to put some flowers and stuff in it. And mix that mace all together. Make a bird nest. Looks like my hair. Anyway. So my bird was still too dark. So I put more white chalk paint on it. So I got that little dowel rod from a bag of junk from a Goodwill. And I'm going to stick it to its underneath. <laughs> glue it to its underneath. And glue it in there to give it some height. And gonna throw all that garbage up around it and throw me some eggs in there. I know birds don't lay chicken eggs with them little eggs and they're cute and I wanted to use them. It's not real. I mean, my bird's plastic for peak sakes. Anyway, so I just throw a bunch of mess in there and there it is. Made me a little bow. Put some of that um, ribbon around the bottom of my candle thingy and it turned out so pretty. I just love it. I think it's beautiful. I wish y'all could see it in person. I got it the best I could. Maybe I should have painted it white. Y'all let me know if I should have painted it white. Oh, well. Anyway. Okay. Got me some books. Been wanting to do this for a long time. But I know some people get mad if you tear up books or something like that. And I don't really want to tear up books. But these are uh, these were just a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I finally came up with a plan. It only took me a year. So, I got some removable vinyl. And I'm going to cut it down. And run it down the spine of every one of these books. Yeah. These are gorgeous, y'all. Absolutely beautiful. Never seen anybody do this before. And I'm so smart. <laughs> I got that removable vinyl there. If Cricut makes it, you get six sheets of it. It's on, on clearance at Walmart for $3. And isn't that beautiful? That looks like some old vintage book you'd find at your grandma's or... A school library. No, it looks like something like a Jane Eyre cover or something like that. I just think it's pretty. Yeah. Man, I'm smart. And it's removable, trust me. I had to remove it a few times. So, put that on there. Cut my little, you know, square-like things out the side. Fold them in. Eventually. <laughs> 
There it is. Isn't that gorgeous? And I did four other books that way with different removable vinyl. And these are beautiful books. I should have showed you the books more so. But I didn't want to make a forever long video because I need to get my, my minutes, y'all. I'm so close. So close. Anyway. If you're coming over from Maria's channel, hey, hi, stick around, stay a while. We'll have some fun. Aren't those pretty? Oh, yeah. Y'all check out Maria. I'm telling you, you'll love her. So, on my Cricut, I printed out This Is Us. I, you can use stickers and stuff from the Dollar Tree. Just my husband's like, why are you buying stickers? Why'd I buy that expensive machine if you just gonna buy stickers? Anyway, so, um, I wanted to put This Is Us, Our Story, Our Life. Well, you know me. I get going and, uh, so I did a little bit backwards. And I put This Is Us, Our Life, Our Story. I know it don't matter to y'all, but it really matters to me. It bothers me. I'm going to have to fix that. It's going to drive me nuts. Remember, it's removable vinyl. <laughs> oh, anyway, sorry. So, look how gorgeous those all were. And then, I hate that red and white. I made that flower out of cardstock by myself, and I wrapped it with some ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I put the halls on the top of it, which is our last name. Look at my flower, and it matches those books. I think these turned out gorgeous. I am in love. I really am. Now, there's not something I actually like. Oh, but that I did. Okay, so I got one of those little family things from the fall that came from the Dollar Tree. And, you know, those take three days to paint. I'm going to paint it with agave. <clears throat> it's kind of going with theme. Been using the agave in the whole thingy. Yeah. So, rub on transfer stickers from the Dollar Tree. I'm really digging them, y'all. It's easy. And they're pretty. Sometimes they're really, really small, though. I wish they made some bigger ones. But they're making really nice um, big stickers and wall thingies. Really like those, too. Remember, don't forget to go check out Maria. My Maria. Oh, my Maria. Maria. Oh, so I'm going to put those roses on my family. <laughs> that sounds dumb. <laughs> anyway, I just, you know, play some more. This can maybe, this is farmhouse spring. But it can go a little bit shabby chic maybe so i'm taking that salmon coral and i'm gonna just distress it and you know if you don't like distressing you don't have to do it. this is just inspiration y'all can paint this any color you want you could um paint it like a rainbow you could just break it in half if you want it's yours so i got those little eye hooks and i got them from the dollar tree and i'm gonna put them in my f and my y and my phi <laughs> and tie some juke twine around it <clears throat> excuse me and then tie that little loop at the top. That's going to be my hanger. And there it is. And I made a bow for it, y'all. I mean, it's cute. It's something easy out of those little things. Oh, this is everything. Oh, my goodness. You know I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. I think that you guys are absolutely the best subscribers ever. Um, I think I'm going to start clicking hearts. So, but I am reading all your comments. I'm going to get back to them. I love you guys. Check out Maria. Have a great one. Bye.